Hello everyone, Merry Christmas or late Merry Christmas rather since I just came home from Japan um, so that's why I'm making this video a little bit later but um, since of course it's Christmas I have to do my annual December Lego haul right here which will also be a way for me to express my thoughts on those sets since I haven't made videos on those either and then maybe I could do a review of a few of those so yeah, let's begin. So this is gonna be a little makeshift area with just on the floor right there. this is the star wars x-wing fighter which i got in japan this set i like a lot because this is believe it or not this is my first x-wing and i did actually build this yesterday all of it at once so it's crazy but this is my first x-wing for at least this specific model this is my first t65 x-wing so this is really awesome to get speaking of which we do have another star wars 18 plus set this is the emperor's throne room which is another set i really like because I feel like with these diorama or 18 plus Star Wars sets, they, they have like a lot of details to it and like a lot of interesting pieces and it's very intricate and I like how they do that. It's very, I don't know, I really like how they design the, most of their builds, if not all of them. So this is another awesome set to get. Like I just love like the overall throne room design and the minifigures are perfect, honestly. I mean, I get. I feel like they should have added two, like those royal guards or whatever. That would have been nice. But the overall build itself looks beautiful, as it is. So honestly, I really love this set. For too. some smaller sets, I also got the three hundred thirty second Ahsoka Clone Trooper Battle Pack, uh, from a friend of mine. So thank you very much for this. I love this set as well. It's just nice getting all these figures. So honestly, this is another great Star Wars set in my opinion. Next is actually another. Star Wars set. This is the Holiday Diorama, which this is an interesting one. This is from the sequel trilogy, which we haven't gotten anything from. I don't like the sequel trilogy, but this is an interesting set to get at the very least. I like how the Falcon looks and the overall Christmas decorations to it, which I have already built, but I feel like I could include this. Let's continue with the Disney stuff. We have, I got the Disney Castle. Um, this is the small version of it. Like the little, I think this is like another Disney diorama. I'm pretty sure, like these miniaturized builds with the figures to it. I have the Haunted Mansion one from last year, I think. So it's cool to get this one. This is probably, I think this was the first that they made, which I really like this. Um, with Mickey Mouse, that looks cool. All right, that that one's nice. I like that. And then we also got this one. This one I really like. This is the Up House. Which, mm, I love this. I like the design of the house, honestly. It's pretty great on the outside. And the minifigures are almost perfect. I feel like they were just missing like one or two. But the figures that we get... Are... So this, these next ones, I really wanted for a very long time. Like even before it released. Like this was just a set that I always thought should have been made. And I'm glad they finally made it. It is the Spider-Man No Way Home Final Battle set. Which, I love the movie, obviously. And it's awesome to finally get a set from that scene with the three Spider-Men and the villains. Most of them at the very least, I think. This is awesome set. I love this one a lot. Like, this next one is the Lego Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 ship. Which, this is the biggest set of that line at the very least. So, honestly, I really like this one as well. I don't know, I'm just saying that. But no, I actually really like this set. Um comes with adam warlock and most of the team i like the overall exterior of the ship like this actually looks really cool it's one of those things where like it's too small i feel like they could have made this a lot bigger like just remove the stand and just made it bigger as a whole because like it looks great for what it is now but i think they could have made it bigger for like more interior i feel the same way about the um up house which but no this is still a really nice set all right, the last set here is the Ghost and Phantom 2, which is another Star Wars set from this year, which, mm, this set is awesome. Like, actually, this is really great. This is the up this is a huge upgrade from the one that we got in 2014. It just has much bigger design and just looks much sleeker in general. I feel like it's lacking in minifigures, but, I mean, it's just five minifigures, but... I think they're fine for what we have. This set, I like this one a lot. So, that is it, however, for the haul. So here's everything we got this December, which, mm, I'm really happy with this. So, I have actually built 
the X-Wing and the Battle Pack. So maybe I could do a review on those sometime. But um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to build next. Maybe one of the Marvel ones. Because like those I've really been looking forward to, I think, besides the Star Wars sets. Because I love those too. But um, yeah, that's really it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. There's going to be a lot more videos probably this next few weeks. Because, you know, just for fun. Anyways, Merry Christmas, everyone. Thank you.